and welcome. My name is Julia Rodriguez. I am the Nursing and Health Sciences Librarian at Kresge Library. Uh, this recording is intended as an introduction to the library and to provide you with more information on how to get assistance with your research. Right now we are on my bio page, um, which is located from the library homepage under library information and under people. And on the bio page you will see my contact information for uh, my office, my office hours, my email, my phone number. You will also see a place in which to schedule a research consultation, which allows you to view my um, personal calendar and set up a private appointment with me to work on your research project or assignment. So each week the time slots will change and you will be able to view the calendar out by about a week um, to pick a slot that works for you. You'll also see uh, my office hours here that will change every semester and will be updated. Um, if you just need quick help, a uh, quick question answered, um, you're having trouble accessing full text, that type of thing, there are a number of different ways in which to contact a librarian. Uh, if you are on campus, you can always come in the building and stop by our research help desk. There's a librarian scheduled to work at the desk from 9 in the morning until 9 at night. Um, and then we also, now that we're open 24 hours, have librarians scheduled to work the overnight shift. Um, and they are located over at the circulation desk and they will answer the phone over there. Um, and there is a gap um, between about 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. where there isn't a librarian on staff. You can see all of the schedules down here under the hours if you need to look those up. Um, or you can always just uh, give us a call on the phone or send a quick IM chat message. Um, if you just have a quick question you need answered, or you can always, you know, use the old-fashioned email. Um, we do say there is a little bit of a delay in answering that, depending on what time of day that you send those out. Um, the other thing I just wanted to point out is that uh, we do have course pages that are developed for classes, uh, in which I have either come to your, visited your class face-to-face, -face, or I may have put a um, library resources class in an online class for you. And those are located either in your Moodle class, if your faculty has embedded them there, or they'll be listed under our current course page list. You can see a sample course page here, um, and you'll notice that there's also my contact information here that's going to have a duplicate information that you found on my bio page. I will mention that for online classes, um, if you do need help and you can't come into the library because you're uh, located at a distance, I can always schedule an appointment with you uh, via Skype, over the phone, or using one of the Moodle uh, chat systems, either through Illuminate or a discussion board. So there is help for online students as well, and you're not required to, uh, to come into the library or come to the main campus. The last thing I wanted to mention is that if you're accessing any resources from off-campus um, that we pay for, or you pay for through your, your tuition dollars, you will need to log in as an Oakland student. Um, so many of the pages on the library homepage uh, you can get to, obviously, without logging in, but once you click on a, something that is a paid uh, subscription or a paid source, you will need to put in your Oakland information, and the page will prompt you with your um, username and and uh, G number information, and I believe it'll ask you for your last name, underscore, first name, and the last five digits of your G number. If by any chance you have trouble with that, um, if you're, you have tried before and it's worked and now it doesn't, or you hadn't ever never tried before and you're not getting in, um, please just call the librarian at the phone number listed here, and they will be able to check the system and make sure that everything is entered correctly. Very often we will have, uh, we get the feed from the admissions office, and so if you've registered late, we, we may not have you in the system, or if you um, have a hyphenated last name or got married or changed your name or something of that sort, um, we will not have the most updated information because they haven't sent it over yet. So you will have access to everything off campus that you can get to on campus, and if you have any trouble, please just call and ask for help. Um, so that ends this recording. You will find additional uh, recordings and lectures specific to resources for your classes also